Hi. <clears throat> Hi. In this video, I'll show you how to calculate uh, using Google as a calculator. So here's the setup. Let's say you are given two charges, Q1 and Q2, with amount of charge of uh, 2 times 10 to the minus 6 coulomb or 2 micro coulomb and minus 3 times 10 to minus 6 coulomb or minus 3 micro coulomb. They are separated by distance 0.1 meters and this is the coulomb's law you've uh, been told in other places um, and this coulomb's constant k is a large number 9 times 10 to the 9 newton times meter squared per coulomb squared. So, in calculating number like, numbers like this, the challenge is that these are big numbers. And um, so if you do something like simply, let's say, 9 times 2 times minus 3 times um, divided by 0 0.1 squared, then uh, you missed out on all those factors of, all those factors of um, uh, ten, uh, powers of 10. Uh, let's see. Now, why does um? Hmm, not sure why Google's not showing me a calculator already. But let me uh, just search for scientific calculator. And this is a tool that's available on Google. It shows like a, a like a scientific calculator. And this may be similar to a scientific calculator. So I'll show you one example with this, and show you how to uh, type this in. Okay, so let's do it. So I enter k as 9 times 10 to, and um, on your calculator, if there's a button like exponent, then you can use this button. Um, so this is how um, you would enter 9 times 10 to the 9. You would say 9 ex exp 10, uh, 9. This E9 stands for 10 to the power of 9. So this already is 9 times um, 10 to the power of 9. Watch. If I press equal sign, it shows 9 billion. All right. So let me just uh, do a simple calculation. So 9 times 10 to the raised to the power of 9 times uh, charge 1. That would be 2 raised to uh, times 10 to the raised to the power of minus 6 times the second charge. Now I want to do a, a parenthesis to make sure that minus sign does not get misinterpreted. So minus 3 times 10 to the raised to the power of minus 6 close the parenthesis divided by 0 0.1 meters uh, squared. Where's my square? Mm, no square. Um, if there's a square symbol, you can use it. Uh, here I see the x raised to the power of y symbol, so I'll use this one. So 0 0.1 raised to the power of 2. Alright, so I entered everything and when I press equals, it calculates my answer. Minus 5.4. Uh, let's see, that sounds about right. Yeah, so this is how you calculate it. Now, you can also um, enter this uh, in the um, in Google search and it'll actually do the calculation. So let me just type it in. 9E9 nine e nine, um, times uh, 9. E stands for the exponent thing. 9 times 10 to the power of 9 uh, times 2E minus 6 times minus 3e minus 6 divided by 0 0.1 squared. Now this um, this symbol here, this is what you get if you press shift and number 6, most of, on most, most keyboard, it's called a carrot. This, raised, this stands for raised to power of. So this does the raised to power of 10. It does the squaring. All right. Um, so let's see what we get. Yeah, minus 5.4 uh, as before. So uh, this is how you use Google as calculator. Uh, if you are taking your exams online or doing homework online, you are welcome to use Google as calculator. Another excellent calculator is uh, something called Ulfram Alpha. It works more or less the same way. Watch, I can take this, copy it, paste it here, and See what it says. Wolfram Alpha is especially nice in that it shows you um, how it's interpreting your input as well. 
So uh, now, if you are taking your exam in person, uh, you cannot use these tools. So you do have to be familiar with how to use your own scientific calculator. Um, I'm happy to help you with that. Just to send me a picture of your scientific calculator, and I can tell you how to adapt the steps that I showed you on this model scientific calculator. And um, and I guess that's that. So. Um, so I'm still um, working on the video for the electric field and electric potential. Um, until then, good night and have fun studying, working on the homework.